It is June 12, 2023, and you're watching The Code Report. If you try to go onto the subreddit, aww, aww to look at adorable pictures of puppies and bunnies, you'll notice that that subreddit has gone private, forcing 34 million people to confront the harsh reality of our existence. As of today, nearly 7,000 different subreddits have gone private, and that means tens of millions of users won't be able to generate ad revenue for Reddit Inc. And that's not good for a company that desperately wants to go public before it becomes obsolete. Reddit has an incredible business model where people willingly create content for free that it can then monetize with advertisements, but it recently pissed off a lot of its mods and power users by jacking up the price of its API. Back in April, they announced that API pricing was changing from totally free to 24 cents per 1,000 API calls, going into effect on July 1st. That's pretty steep, because serving a 1,000 Git requests should cost them a fraction of a penny. Now, I understand Reddit has to put food on its family, but they're not doing this to make money. They make their money from advertisements, and it's a problem when you have apps like Apollo that provide a much better user experience than the official Reddit app. And the best way to get rid of third-party apps is to simply cut off the water supply, or in this case, make the water supply extremely expensive. The Apollo app makes 7 billion requests per month, which means the API would cost them $20 million per year. And they ain't got that kind of money, bro, which means they're officially going out of business June 30th. They learned this trick from Elon Musk, who recently jacked up the price of the Twitter API, which used to be an awesome free API as well, a change that killed off a bunch of third-party apps. But a platform killing off third-party businesses is nothing new. Apple can boot you from the App Store anytime it wants. Google can update its search algorithm so nobody ever finds your website. Instagram can turn you into a famous influencer, then erase you the moment you post something that doesn't align with the regime. YouTube has complete control over my fate and can easily end everything I've worked for with the click of a button. The bottom line is that when you build a software product, any third-party APIs or platforms that you rely on have you by the balls. Reddit knows this, and they're starting to twist hard to get rid of apps like Apollo, Reddit is Fun, Sync, and Red Planet, which in my opinion seems like a move to eliminate competition on mobile. However, the Reddit CEO blames large language models like ChatGPT for using Reddit extensively as training data. But I have a hard time buying that, because Reddit is tied to most of these AI companies through the same VCs, via people like Sam Altman, Mark Andreessen, and Peter Thiel. Coincidentally, they all became investors in 2014, one year after the death of Aaron Swartz, a dude who once said, information is power. But like all power, there are those who want to keep it for themselves. What's crazy about a website like Reddit is that you have millions of people providing high-quality content and moderating it entirely for free. People do that because the content in many cases is more valuable than money. Like just today I was trying to visit a subreddit for a highly specialized medical condition that I have, but it looks like Reddit is currently also under a DDoS attack right now, which means I might need to go see a real doctor. All Reddit has to do is not f things up and provide a minimal platform that keeps the gravy train running. What you really don't want is the users of Reddit to find out that the content they create on the internet actually has value, because then they might want to take that content to their own platforms, where it would be far more difficult for vulture capitalists to feast upon. Now to finish things up, I need to apologize for the lack of memes in this video. Unfortunately, programming humor on Reddit has joined the protest, and that means I won't be able to steal any memes from them for the next 48 hours. This has been The Code Report, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.